Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come your way and minister God's word to you. This week we've been talking about James and the many aspects in his letter. Today we'll talk about planning the future with God. James chapter 4 verse 14 and 15. Why you do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. When James wrote these words, he did not intend to frighten us or to keep us from planning for tomorrow. He simply wanted to remind us of the uncertainty of life as we make our plans. We are reminded of the importance of submitting our plans and our desires to God's will. James tells us to consider the brevity of life and how quickly our plans can change. We may plan to go on a trip or embark on a business venture, but none of us knows what the future holds. He uses the image of a vapor which quickly appears and then vanishes away to illustrate this point. Instead of saying, I'm going to do this or that, says James, we ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will do this or that. We have to make our plans with God's will in mind because we don't know how much time we have left for us. Throughout our life, we make many different types of plans. We make plans for our future, for our careers, for our families, for our finances. For our education, we make plans for our vacations, our businesses, and so much more. We plan, we dream, we envision the days to come. But is all is that all that we should do? James chapter 4 reminds us that our plans are nothing compared to God's plans. We may think we know what the future holds, but James warns us against developing an attitude of independence that excludes God. We should never forget that God holds the future and His plans and purposes for our lives are far greater than ours and far beyond our control. We all want to live lives with purpose and with, to the fullest. But oftentimes we forget the importance of surrendering our plans to God. We should never forget the fragility of our existence, nor underestimate our own human limitations. The Lord upholds all things by His word, and we live and move and have our being at God's direction. James also reminds us that our lives are fragile and unpredictable. Sometimes we can easily forget as we go about making our plans and engaging in business and other aspects of life. The truth is, we don't know what tomorrow will bring. Instead of making plans solely based on for our lives, James is suggesting that we surrender our plans to God. James is not suggesting that we should not make plans for the future. He is not discouraging us from making prudent plans. What troubles him is stating we will do and we will go with no regard for the Lord. Acknowledging the supremacy of God in our lives is essential, but it is also vitally important to have faith in His plans. God is sovereign, all-knowing, and He knows what is best for us. He knows the path we should take and how to use our gifts and talents and when, when to take a risk. When we surrender our plans to Him, we can be sure that He will guide us in the right direction. James calls us to make our plans with God, always realizing that even though we, make, we may plan our course, it is the Lord who establishes our steps. Then we live life to the fullest. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for exhorting us through your word. Lord, we pray that even as we plan, even as we prepare for our lives, for the future, Lord, help us to be reminded 
that it is you who holds our life in your hand. Help us to surrender our plans, our purposes to you and to know that you will uphold us, O God. Thank you for the wisdom you are giving us. Thank you for your grace. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.